was. When we left off last week, we were stuck in traffic on our way out of Florence. After a couple hours on winding, dark mountain roads in the pouring rain, we wound up in the adorable mountain village of Peretta Terme, where we settled in for the night. Well, actually, we lost the keys first, so I called up all my skills from my past life and stripped the van down to the bolt looking for the keys, which I eventually found in Lowell's back pocket. Then we settled in for the night. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're in Predit Terme, Italy at a beautiful hotel spa. The town and its hot springs were popular with the ancient Romans, but following a medieval legend where a lame ox drank from one of the springs and was healed, the town became truly famous. The watering ox has been on its coat of arms ever since. These days, the town is most popular as a gateway for the adventures to be had in the surrounding mountains. So this is our view. And during the off season, the Peretta Soul Festival, which is what brings us here. Salve. For the next three nights, there's a soul festival on the streets. And a snow market. We have a rumor that there may be a food truck portion of the festival down this way on the square. So of course, we're out to investigate. Even if there's no food trucks, this town is amazing. Rumors of a food truck festival may have been exaggerated, but we're going to keep looking. a great little local place for lunch. Chris is gonna love this. Just my style. Of course we ordered the pizza. And calzone. And it's cut your own. Mm. That's hot. You know Katie can never pass up the opportunity to check out a new grocery store, but thankfully we're going to this one on full stomachs. It's always fun going into grocery store. But so far, I'm sorry to say, Italy has let me down on grocery stores. I'm sure they'll try harder here. I know. <laughs> this town has is adorable. Small, cute, the food is fantastic, the people are nice. Curtis Salgado grew up in Eugene, Oregon and was a mainstay of the live music scene while I went to university there. He's headlining the Soul Festival, and let me assure you, he's still got it. After that amazing show last night, the only thing we have left to do is to hang out at this incredible spa for the next couple days. We're at the spa and I have to wear a cap. All right, Cody, this is for you, my man. I've been sitting in the hot. Now it's time for the ice cold. <laughs> you are crazy. Happy New Year, brother. I don't think we've gotten too much video in the last couple of days because we've been hanging out at the spa. We cannot thank our dear friend Lowell enough for putting us up in this amazing spa for the last few days. It's just a highlight of our time in Italy. Love you, brother. As Kate said, I don't think we got much video. We got a couple photos and a little bit of iPhone video. I'll put those in like around, kind of blend them in here, but you just have to take our word for it. Peretta Terme, 
for the Peretta Soul Festival is definitely a place that you should go if you like music, mountains, Italian food, and just being happy. Now, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do now. What the hell? But we gotta go. Vaffanapoli, huh? <laughs> Ciao, Peretta Torme. God, I better catch her. Pretty easy to see which trains are. There's only one this hour. Yes. Train failure. That sounds ominous. And we still have no idea what it means, but we didn't die, so it's all good. Bye, Napoli. Okay, okay, you win. We did, in fact, go to Naples just in time for New Year's Eve, though at the time we had no idea what was in store for us later that evening. That is the pizza place from Eat, Pray, Love. And it is really, 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 really packed. So we probably won't eat there. But we're definitely going to eat here. This is Mauro. He's our host at our Airbnb and is amazing. Just give us a tour all around the area. Oh, too much. No, it's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Grazie, Mauro. Yeah. Thanks to you. Have a good time. <laughs> Enjoy. Mauro recommended this very local place. It has fried pizza. I'm looking forward to it. The place has been here since like 1860. Fried pizza. Wow. Fried pork and cheese and fried bread. I'm in fried heaven. These are huge and they are only five euros a piece. Thanks, Moral. This was one of the things I wanted to eat in Naples. It was really cool that he took us right to a fried pizza place. It is wonderful. The grease is dripping down my face. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm a lucky boy. And then New Year's Eve happened. To say that the Neapolitans love their fireworks is a bit of an understatement. Some of the stuff was so powerful it actually damaged roads and buildings. Crazy. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>